just a quick video on how to create bean spam and noodle combo it's pretty nice it's pretty tasty uh, today we have some Heinz full of beans baked beans and a delicious rich tomato sauce along with some uh, spam ham and some of Maggie's two minute noodles so um, I hope you enjoy the video and let's get on with it Firstly, you want to fill up your, I'd get a small pan or small saucepan and just fill it up with some water. Next you want to turn on your stove top. I turn mine to a, a low heat but um, to speed up the process you can put it on a low to mid, preferably more towards the low because you don't want to accidentally burn your noodles. Time to open up these bad boys. Uh, preferably you want to snap them in half so they cook quicker but also when you get the noodles out of the saucepan and into the bowl they're only half the length so it's um, quite easy to eat I suppose without having that unless you like having the long stringiness of the noodles. I too enjoy that but um, just for this video I've decided to snap them in half. Next you're going to want to pour in the chicken powder and this will just add the, the chicken flavour to the noodles. Next you just want to grab, uh, I grabbed a wooden spoon I just stir it around and try and mix around the powder so it doesn't all sit on one part of the noodle and just try and get an even flavour across the noodles. On a low to medium heat you want to cook these for around about 2-5 to five minutes and usually checking halfway in between. Next you just want to strain the noodles into a strainer and um, you can either keep the juice or you can um, dispose of it. For this video I've taken it out because of what I'm about to do next. May as well put these bad boys into the bowl and grab a small bowl and gently push down on the noodles to create a small container to keep the beans in. Here I am pressing down gently on the noodles, just create like a little small home for your little beans. Next up, you just want to open a container of beans, um, I suppose that could really be anything but I've just picked beans because we had plenty in our cupboard and I like beans, what can you say? Here we have a wild jack, struggling to open up a can of beans. Gently place the beans and flatten. Now for the final ingredient we have the Spam Ham. You can use regular ham if you'd like to, or any other type of meat. Doesn't that look appetizing? You're going to want to cut off about a quarter for one serving. And then after, finally dice the ham. In the video I show, I didn't cut it thin enough, so um, the next stage, it took a little longer than expected. It didn't turn out quite what I wanted. So just make sure to finally dice the spam ham once you've taken it out of the container. You can use any sort of knife to cut the spam, but um, I just use a general ordinary knife that may or may not be a thousand degrees this stuff pretty much lasts years and years so um, I guess it is pretty much the perfect food for a um, for a, a days out in the camp 
you're going to want to put down some baking paper to lay your spam ham across. Um, lay it evenly so that it um, cooks evenly. I use a fan forced oven set to 200 degrees and I put the timer on for 10 minutes. If I had sliced my ham a little finer, then it um, would have cooked a bit more to what I would have liked. It has been 10 minutes and time to take, ooh, these are looking pretty good. So I'm um, just lay these down and get them ready to be put into the plate, into the bowl. Now you want to s cut them in half and then lay them evenly inside the bowl of noodles and beans, on top of the beans preferably. If I had cooked them for a little bit longer, it might have been easier to cut the spam. Also, if I had my other arm, I'm currently recording on my phone. So we've just uh, placed it right here. After a quick sudden realization, I realized I do not actually like spam, so I, I just chucked the rest of it in the bin because no one else was going to eat it. And um, that pretty much takes out a third of what this is. Now I've just basically made beans and noodles in a bowl. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to get watching more. I post gaming videos and I might in the future do a few more cooking videos. Um, see if I can come up with some other weird things. I'll, next time I might go a bit stranger than what this was considering this was only just noodles and baked beans in a bowl. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.